What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be playing some killer games with the Bunny Legion. So these are the four perks that we're going to be using and yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video and I'll be right back when we get into a game. Okay, someone here right away. Okay, two all survivors accounted for. This is really good. All survivors near us. I don't think we're going to make this. We're going to have to lunge. Yeah, I was about to say we're going to have to lunge through the pallet, but we're not going to get that. We're not going to inspect this. Nice, we'll get this pallet out of the way. She can blind us, that's fine. Okay, there's the UB again. Use our frenzy for distance, then we'll hit with frenzy. We're not respecting that, no way. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew she wouldn't give us that pallet. It's, it's really hard now with this new MMR. They're splitting up really well. It's fine with Wraith and uh, like other stronger killers, but with low tier killers like Legion, it's really difficult. Time we're going this way. Okay, that confused her enough, I think. I think we might have her here. Okay, she has a TL wall to work with. Let's see how well she plays this. Okay, she's gonna hold forward, smart. Okay, we got her here, unless she's got dead hard. No dead hard, we'll keep that in mind. That generally has a little bit of progress, so we're gonna go over to this one. Yeah, this one has a lot more. Sprint burst. Okay, she's, she seems really good, she's not panicking. We did get her there though, with a nice little mind game. We've got barbecue and chili again. That guy's going in for the save, we're gonna go push this guy for his gen. No need to use frenzy here, really. Okay, she's gonna pre-drop that, that is weird. She didn't move away either, that is a really bad play. We've got her here. Okay, she has dead hard, she still doesn't make that though. So straight away we can kind of see the weak link of the team. With no disrespect intended. <laughs> you can't get that. <laughs> yeah, you can't get that from there. His basement here. Yeah, basement is here. That is really bad for him. He's pretty much stuck down here as well. Probably jump in the locker. Yeah, he's going to jump in the locker. We'll put her on the hook. And now we should get a free down on him as well. These guys are kind of throwing. Yeah, we're not going to slug. Okay, never mind. I guess he's decided that he's had enough. Guess we'll have to go back here. I don't know where they went though. Okay, I just seen one of them there. We'll go over here, break the door. There might be another one nearby here though. Yeah, the scratch marks here. Okay, she ran around this way. Well, the game is pretty much over now since one person DC'd, so we can take it easy. We don't need to slug or anything. I guess we'll go into frenzy here. No reason to really, but like I say, the game is won at this point. Almost spun us there. Well done. That's good. That other girl's gonna die on hook. Even this guy, even if we left him, this guy wouldn't get over there in time. Yeah, this is gonna be a really quick game by the looks of things. She can take the window. She's not going for the window. That was really close, well done. I think she had live there as well. She moved really quickly. Yeah, that must have been live. No dead hard. She's not making that. Is that frenzy to vault as well? Okay, she's gonna carry on holding forward. We're gonna break this pallet because this loop is gonna be really long if not. She might expect us to double back, so we're gonna come in this way. She's still around there, I think. Yeah, that's smart. She's moving into the map to try and find the hatch. Okay, she doesn't vault the windows at all at TLs. Yeah, she doesn't vault at all. She just holds forward. She vaulted that one, though. <laughs> okay, we got her here. She did have dead hard, if I remember. 
Wait, no, she didn't have dead heart. It must have been another one. And we hear the hatch, so we will give it her. There you go, there's the hatch. And GG's, let's move on to the next game. Going to our frenzy here, we can maybe get her. Respect the pallet. Nope, she's not going to drop it. And we'll go back for the other guy. He's still on the gen as well, so we'll go back and push him off it. He's kind of out of position here as well. Okay, now we'll use our frenzy for some distance. I guess we could chase him. We'll break this door and then we'll chase, I think. Depending on what his movement is like. Okay, he's got that pallet to work with, which is a decent pallet. Just going to panic vault. Yeah. Down he goes. I knew he would panic vault there because he panic dropped the pallet. So let's pick him up and get him on the hook. Then we can use our barbecue and chiller. All right, we've got two survivors over there. One survivor over there. We're going to go to the one where there's two. That is in Shack, I think. We could go for this one, and that would force them off the gen. Now we're going to go over to we're going to go over to the one with two of them over here, and then that will force the other person off the gen. Okay, I guess we're not going to go over there. <laughs> um. Okay, this guy's going in for the save, so we're going to go cut him off. We will go in our frenzy here. We don't really need to. Okay, yeah, that, that's why I didn't respect the pilot. We didn't really need to because we know the other guys are on the other side of the map. He is going to run in for the save, though, so we do have to follow him here. We will go for the David. The Leon's here as well. He's going to give us a free hit. We'll take it. Okay, I don't know what they're doing there. <laughs> down he goes. Okay, down goes Ruin. So this is why we bring Pop Goes the Weasel with Ruin. Because when the Ruin does inevitably die, we still have Pop Goes the Weasel for gen defense. We'll go over here as well to these two survivors. Okay, he's dead. He, I'm assuming he has dead hard. Nope. Okay, down he goes. It's rare that you see a David without dead hard. They usually always have it. We're not going to use Pop Goes the Weasel here because no one was on Jans as we seen with Barbecue. Okay, I was just about to swing through that. Okay, he moved away. <laughs> he played that really well. We're going to go over to this gen over here. The Leon's mending here. Let's see if we can catch him out of position. He has got a lot of distance here, though. We're not going to chase down there because there's no gens down there. There's a Nancy. We've not put her on the hook yet. I guess we'll go for her. She's our last stack of barbecue. Nah, actually, let's not go for her. Once again, she's running over there to a gen that we really don't want to defend. Okay, here's the David. Leon's kind of out of position here, though. He does have a window there to take. Yeah, he didn't get baited by that, unfortunately. <laughs> he is going to run straight into us, though. Let's pick him up and put him on the hook. We're going to put him on the hook over here. Actually, no, we're not. That's not the gen that just got completed. Basement's here. We will put him in the basement then, I guess. I don't think we're going to stop that gen, unfortunately, which means we will be down to one gen after this. So we really do need to get someone out of the game now. Okay, the Leon's dead on the hook. I didn't think he was dead on the hook. I thought that was second. We're not going to use Pop Goes Weasel there. We are in a really bad spot here because this gen is really isolated in the corner. So it's looking like we might only get two kills out of this game. We're going to Frenzy for distance. Another pilot there is going to drop it. Yep, there we go. We need to get him out of the game as soon as possible. Hatch is there. That's the hatch accounted for. He gained a lot of distance from that. Okay, the other two survivors are counted far over here. We're going to have to go over to the gen. We'll have to leave the David for now. Going to hide our red glow coming this way. Okay, we see blood. So we're going to go for the, the injured survivor. Sprint burst on him. Yeah, we are going to lose that gen, unfortunately. We're not stopping that. But we will get a down on the Adam. I think... Is he dead on hook? I don't think he is, actually. He has a pallet there that... We didn't break, unfortunately. Okay, he didn't panic. 
That's deja vu. That happened before. <laughs> the exact same out uh, outcome happened before. I don't think he makes that window since we've got Bloodlust. Okay, it's not the window, it's the Shark Pallet. He does get that, unfortunately. We just lost our last gen as well. Okay, he's going to play Shark. No, he's not going to play Shark. This guy just holds forward all the time. He might actually make that gate. If they come for the body block and they're already on that gate, then it looks like we might only get one kill from this. I think we should be able to get him, though. Close. Okay, if we can push the Nancy out, this would be really good. No, she's not going to get pushed out. That's smart. We're going to slug here. She's holding forward. Okay, we can't slug. We can't afford to chase her. We need to put him on the hook away from the gate if we can. We do have basement here. I guess we'll go for basement. Okay, we don't know where the David is. We know the Nancy's over there, 99 in that other gate. Just going to open this gate to put them under a little bit of pressure. I'm expecting them to heal up and then try and come in for the save, especially with that gate open. But the gate was fully 99 anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's break this. Yeah, they're healing up. I'm assuming they're healing up at this gate. We're going to take a huge gamble here, and we're going to move over to there. Although, that could have been a medkit. We're going to go for it. We'll we'll gamble and go over to this gate. Okay, the, the Adam's now dead on hook. Yeah, okay, they're both at this gate. Gate is open now as well. Let's go and push them out. Get some extra points. And yeah, there we go. GG's. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. This is the first time I've used a really weak killer since the new MMR update. And as you can see at the end of that last video, we did actually get a ruthless killer, even though we only got two kills. So I'm not sure exactly how it would work, but I'm assuming that would mean our MMR will go up, even though we technically drew the game. But I'm not 100% sure if that's how it would work. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a better understanding of how the MMR might work. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope that you've all enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you next time.